which fighter is going to win MMRCA 2. The stage is all set for yet another round of grueling selection trials to fix upon the next major aircraft for the Guardians of the Skies. The MMRCA 2.0, as it's fondly called, is another take on the MCA competition held a few years back to procure new fighter aircraft to strengthen the squadrons of Indian Air Force. In MMRCA 1.0, F-16E, F-A-18E, F-Typhoon and Rafale, all were very good in terms of performance. In terms of best performance, I think the Rafale was best overall. In terms of avionics suite, it would be a close between F-A-18E and Rafale. The place where F-16 and F-A-18E were better was cost. Both were much more cost-effective than Typhoon and Rafale. The problem was Rafale and F-Typhoon were much more costly. This was the prime reason Rafale's procurement was cut from 126 to 36. Had F-16E or F-A-18E were chosen, this wouldn't have happened. Six of the world's premier fighter aircraft vendors, American companies Boeing and Lockheed Martin, Russian Aircraft Corporation, Dassault of France, Swedish firm Saab and European Consortium, Eurofighter GmbH, have submitted responses to an Indian request for information, RFI, kicking off the purchase of 110 fighters for the Indian Air Force, IAF. It would be a close between F-A-18E and Rafale. So discuss about F-A-18E and Rafale. About radar and Sankar F-A-18 Super Hornet, the Super Hornet is equipped with the APG-73 radar manufactured by Raytheon. Raytheon's Acer fire control radar increases the F-A-18's air-to-air -air target detection and tracking range and provide higher resolution air-to-ground mapping at longer ranges. F-A-18F aircraft is also fitted with the Raytheon Sharp Multifunction Reconnaissance Pod, which replaces USN Tactical Airborne Reconnaissance Pod, DARPS. Rafale, the Rafale is typically outfitted with the Thales V2 passive electronically scanned multimode radar. Thales claims to have achieved unprecedented levels of situational awareness through the earlier detection and tracking of multiple air targets for close combat and long-range interception, as well as real-time generation of three-dimensional maps for terrain following and the real-time generation of high-resolution ground maps for navigation and targeting. The B-2A active electronically scanned array, ACER, radar is planned to replace the existing passively scanned B-2. The B-2AA is reported to deliver a greater detection range, improved reliability and reduced maintenance demands over the preceding radar. By early 2014, the first Air Force Frontline Squadron will receive Raffles equipped with the AESA radar, the French Navy is slated to receive AESA equipped Raffles from 2013. About Engines FA-18 Super Hornet the aircraft's power is provided by two F-414 GE-400 turbofan engines from General Electric. The engines are an advanced derivative of the Jeff 404 engines installed on the Hornet. Rafale. The Rafale is fitted with the Snakema M88 engine, capable of providing up to 50 kN, 11,250 lbf, of dry thrust and 75 kN. 16,900 lbf, with afterburners. The M88 enable the Rafale to supercruise at speeds of up to Mach 1.4 while carrying a load out of 6 MBDA Mikan air-to-air missiles. As of 2007, a thrust vectoring variant of the engine designated as M88 3D was also under development. Taking the long view. Both aircraft are excellent jack-of-all-trades aircraft with the Rafale coming out slightly ahead due to its stronger emphasis on air superiority without sacrificing the strike roll. The Rafale would have likely done even better with the addition of an HMD, while the Super Hornet could really use the upgraded engines and enclosed weapon pods of the advanced Super Hornet concept. Yes, the Super Hornet is indeed a cheaper aircraft but the Rafale on the other hand, would be a fantastic selection for Indian Air Force.